An FDNY EMT takes the stand in the trial of a man accused in the brutal killing of her partner. The suspect is charged with stealing an ambulance and then running over the victim. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge was in the courtroom for the emotional testimony. FDNY members filed into a Bronx courtroom to show support for their former colleague, Yadira Arroyo's family, and for her EMT partner, Monique Williams, who took the stand today. Cameras weren't allowed inside, but Williams described through tears how their ambulance was hijacked by a man who then ran over her colleague and friend, killing her. Arroyo's family says it brought back that horrific day. Painful not only for the extended family members, of the FDNY. He is charged with murder, manslaughter, vehicular manslaughter, robbery, and operating a motor vehicle under the influence. Williams described the day on March 2017 when Arroyo was driving on White Plains Road. Bystanders alerted them a man was hanging onto the back. She said the man jumped off and stole a young man's backpack who was walking on the sidewalk. They stopped and Arroyo got out to help him as Williams stayed in the cab. That's when she said the man jumped into the ambulance driver's seat. Williams said she punched him and Arroyo tried to pull him out, but he drove the vehicle in reverse and then drove over her. We're all in pain, however, nothing fathoms what Monique is going through still to this day because, because it is post-traumatic. She hasn't been to work since, since the incident, so it's, it's a bit, um, you know, chilling. We tried to speak to Gonzalez's father, but he said no, telling us he was upset. His son's defense attorney said no comment. Arroyo was a 14-year veteran of the FDNY. She was also a mother of five. Her family says her children have waited six years for justice. They're in pain, uh, confused as to, again, why is it taking so long. Gonzalez faces up to life in prison if convicted of the top charge. In the concourse section of the Bronx, Natalie Dudridge, CBS2 News. A witness in crime scene unit detective also took the stand today. The trial resumes tomorrow.